Hello, this is Druid's Fire, and I'm here with another 2024 PAX East game discussion. Uh, this time I'm going to show you some screenshots from one of the games that I played at PAX East. But first of all, we've got a little bit of a trailer to wet your whistle as to what this game is all about. Let's go check it out. And I closed my eyes, feeling lighter and lighter. And as you can see, it's available on a plethora of platforms. <clears throat> the game itself released in January 2023. The developer is Mojiken uh, and published by Toga Productions. Uh, you can download a demo for the game on Steam right now. Um, and basically, uh, they describe it as a magical adventure about two high school sweethearts set at the end of their school days and the end of the world. Very enchanting. Uh, explore a crumbling town and help friends face their inner demons, which could be the key to stopping a reality itself disintegrating. And don't forget to pet the cats. That last injunction I will fulfill wholeheartedly. So, as you can see, it's a pixel art based game, and most of the action was side scrolling back and forth, and basically you interact with the world, uh, and you interact with the people who are there. Um, <clears throat> The game itself is set in a rural, a rural, rural, um, Indonesian town. So when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, well, it's obviously Asian of some kind, uh, but it's specifically uh, an Indonesian production. <clears throat> so you can definitely tell some of the differences uh, between the cultures, and it's very fascinating how, um, in this one, the, the two main characters uh, our high school sweethearts, uh, and also that they have superpowers, like they're supernatural, um, they have supernatural characteristics. Um, the art style itself, uh, some of it trends toward, like, as you can see this one, the, the pixel art is very, very grainy, very, you know, very low fidelity, but then when you really get into the, some of the backgrounds, it really brings a lot of these to the fore where it was a deliberate choice. Like this one, the pixel art is you know, pretty straightforward. It's very, very lovely. But then in some of the other ones, especially when in the trailer with the, um, okay, like this one right here, uh, the art art is very, very intense. And this one actually made, th that sequence in the, uh, in the trailer made me laugh because uh, Marin, the character was going, objection, like it's, you know, Phoenix Strike, objection, like that kind of deal. And that was actually kind of cool. So this is obviously the post-apocalyptic version. And <clears throat> and there's obviously puzzles you have to solve. And unfortunately, there's people you have to beat up. But you never beat up the cats. You always are nice to the cats. Um, the game itself does require you to think a little bit. To figure out how you're actually going to solve a specific uh, problem. 
and then you can move forward from there and of course in some cases you have to beat somebody up uh, the game itself the full game is available for $19.99 on Steam so to be thereabouts for the other platforms it's available on uh, it is a single player game it does have Steam achievements at least and it's got uh, Steam trading cards and there is remote play on phone tablet and TV and you can you know share it with some of your family it is compatible with Xbox controllers but they don't know about any others right now. Uh, they are selling a, a studio bundle with other games made by the same studio, Mojiken Studio, uh, and that is a thing on Steam right now. And uh, it supports 12 languages. Um, and yeah, the game itself is basically a visual novel, so you'll want to you know, take your time and play through it and you know learn what you need to learn, solve the puzzle you need to solve. And then you can, you know, go forward from there. Um, if you like this sort of uh, video, uh, please drop a like on it. And if you like the channel, drop a subscribe. And that will get you these sorts of videos for you in your feed going forward. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.